Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel Love It All More. We are going to be doing your October 2022 reading for Sun, Moon and Rising in the beautiful sign of Taurus. Before we begin, we'll do the sound bowl for about 20 seconds, just to tune into the energy and then we will be doing three piles. First pile will be current energy starting the month off. Middle pile will be any obstacles, anything that's unseen. And the final pile will be anything, the outcome for the month of October. Please be mindful that energies are non-gender specific, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And if you do like what you see, uh, you can get information on my website, lovedormore.com for any personal readings. And uh, please do like, subscribe, uh, comment and share, because it does really help my channel. All right, we'll do the sound bowl just to begin. So if you'd like to take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Taurus. Let's see what October has in store for us. I'll pop you to the one side. Okay. <clears throat> we'll get some major arcanes to start off. Okay. October 2022 for Taurus. I'll cut the deck. The Hierophant in a very strong position. This is your card, Taurus. Okay, starting off the month, trying to connect to the real ways of doing things, uh, regulations, the moral high ground, um, structures, systems, organizations, and spiritual sanction. Sounds a bit boring, but don't worry, we'll clarify. Uh, the obstacle, anything that's unseen for the month, of October is the Empress. That's unconditional love, nurturing, creation, birth, fertility, all of the good stuff, abundance. She holds the wheat by her heart because she knows she can create anything from the space of the heart. And the outcome for the month is strength. Okay, so we will need a bit more bravery, a bit more commitment, a bit more determination against all odds by the end of the month. But let's see how this plays out for you. Okay, and we're going to be using my deck here. There's only one of a kind in the world because I made it. Um, it's all my own artwork and it's not published yet. But do let me know what you think about the deck, um, if you like, in the comments below. Right, can we clarify the Hierophant, please? Why is the Hierophant here, please? For Taurus 2022 in October. We have the moon, another major arcana. What else do we have? We've got the strength card again, another major arcana. These, with these major arcanas, this is all destined, predestined. Oh my goodness, we have justice. <gasps> Oh, good Lord, you have three major arcanas as you start the month off in September. I mean, October, forgive me, October. Meaning that this is really kind of destined energy, okay? You are working through all these big elements at the moment. Now, we will clarify further, but let's move forward. But that's heavily, heavily destined energy there. Uh, something that seems a little bit shady at first, not very clear, secrets beneath, requiring more strength, inner strength, taming your inner beast with that strength card, and then and then the balance, uh, the scales are balanced with the justice card in your favour. Empress, please, thank you. We have three of pentacles. Now, this is the area of threes because we've got the three of cups as well. Okay, so with the empress, which is also a number three, which you can see over there, 
Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. So the threes in numerology are all about kind of catalyst, creation. You begin the ones, ones really represent new beginnings. Twos are like um, taking the next step, duality, the contrast in life. And once you kind of put those two into the ground, then three becomes that creative spark, okay, where you can really kind of, it's a catalyst number. So it starts to have a bit more momentum. And that's what you're not seeing in... Um, at the moment coming up for you in October. We will see further. Anything else for Empress, please, for Taurus? <laughs> Nine of Cups. Beautiful energy. Now, if you think about this, we've got a three, a three, and a three. You add those three together, and then you get your Nine of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment. So really, really positive energy that you don't actually see coming at the moment, but is coming your way. I will go deeper, don't worry. Let's look at the strength card. So the outcome for the month of October. So really stepping outside your comfort zone. Thank you. We've got our three cards there. Thank you. Right, we have two of swords. So maybe a little bit lost about which way to go, which way to navigate that maze, because each, each turn leads to a different direction. We've got the three of wands, so working hard on your fire, okay? It takes them quite a long time to um, to create fire using the old kind of Bushman method over here. And so this is time, endurance, but it's all about creating that fire, that inner burst of energy within you. And then we've got the nine, the knight of cups. So the knight of cups usually talks about... Um, uh, an energy of moving with the heart space, moving with the emotional body, okay? His cup is overflowing and he's moving with happiness, with idealism, excitement, along a wave. All right, so, now I don't know whether this is your energy or somebody else's, but we will clarify. Oh, okay, so let's clarify. So we've got this very strong position here starting the month of October. With all of these major arcanas, it's it's basically major arcanas, the way to think about it is they're currents of energy that are going to happen to you whether you like it or not. Now, they can take on a different face or a different mask depending on what your circumstances are, but they are energies that you need to kind of mull through. You need to kind of work through those energies. They are predestined. It's talking about kind of fated energies there as well. Mine arc arcana, which for example, these ones and these ones, they are about the sort of day-to-day nitty-gritty details about the situation which once you realize what they are you can kind of work the energies in your favor but i want to see what this predestined energy is all about because it seems like on one hand it seems like you're starting off in a very like positive uh what's the word St very strong position starting for on, on october it's like you you really are trying to kind of connect with the right way, the systematic way of doing things, um, regardless of uh, the turmoil that's coming up and regardless of not really knowing how things are going to pan out. But because it's anchored, because the card is anchored, now it's a five as well, and fives in numerology talk about changes, obstacles, challenges, anything where there's a change in a situation because it's midway through the number one and the number 10. Okay, so along the cycle of learning, we're always going to be reaching that middle bit, which kind of changes the game slightly. Okay, so that you know what the outcome is. But ultimately, justice is in your favor with the justice card. Okay, she knows, um, she never turns up unless there has been an injustice. So particularly if we're talking about justice in the Hierophant, you could literally be dealing with some sort of legal system. You could be dealing with some sort of kind of um, money that is OT because the Hierophant card is also a Taurus card. So we, and obviously we rule by finances. Um, but it's, it's really kind of, even though things are a little bit tricky and even though you're doing the right thing, it feels to me like things are a little bit shady at first and it's using every ounce of strength that you've got to kind of really kind of pay attention to where your fears are, really do the deep introspection work, do the kind of spiritual work of really navigating and kind of, it's like feel the fear and do it anyway. And, and, oh, what's the energy I'm trying to explain here? It's like regardless of what the outcome may be, um, regardless of how things look now, keep keep traveling, keep being your own authentic self, keep keep following your own truth because you will see it pay off. You will see it kind of balance out. Okay, let's clarify the moon card, page of pentacles. 
Okay, anything else please for the Moon card? And Five of Cups. Okay, Strength please, anything for Strength? Thank you. So I really want to jump up. We've got that Three of Wands again, which is the same as the Bushman over here. Anything else for Strength please? And we've got the two of wands. So we've got the two and the three of wands. Okay. Now, both cards, if you have a look over here, actually, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, justice, please. Can clarify justice? Where is justice coming in for Taurus? Thank you. King of Cups. Okay. Anything else? Oh, that fell on the floor. Oh, we've got three there. We've got the Three of Pentacles again as well. So the two, the two of Wands and the Three of Pentacles is coming up twice in your reading so far. And then we've got the Star. Beautiful, beautiful healing card there. Okay, Taurus. So you're trying to do, you're trying to follow, it feels like you're trying to follow the, um, the correct measures and the right ways of being true to yourself, um, either as it relates to, it feels more so like it relates to a sense of work, a sense of um, a project, a, a goal moving forward. And I've just seen a, a blackbird out the window, which is my spirit animal. Thank you. Oh, OK. So um, it feels like if you're, you're working with the systems, you're working with the organizations that um, that are in place at the moment. And it feels like it's you're really focused on career and finance and um, or project based um, new goals. OK, it feels like it's really connecting you in that respect. Now, the thing that seems a little bit shady is that um, in one aspect, it's like a. It's like a bit, it's like a double edged sword. It's like a bittersweet situation. On one side, you get the page of pentacles, which is good news, a good message coming in. That's going to help with your finances. That's going to help with um, an opportunity to continue with your goal. It's, it's like you have your goal um, and this feels kind of project based, career based, anything that's going to affect your finances. It feels like um, you've got your goal, but this is just a helping hand. But the the flip side of the coin, you've got the Five of Cups, which talks about a heavy heart, okay, sorrowful and regretting something that's happened in the past. So it feels to me that while you are focused on your goals moving forward, you're kind of trying to ignore your heart space at the moment. So you're trying to be true to yourself in a very kind of logical justice situation, okay? You're trying to be very clean cut and understanding of where you're heading but it does feel to me like you're kind of ignoring the heart space a little bit um, but it trips you up every so often so it could mean that you start to feel a little bit more sensitive than you usually do even though all your decisions are based in in kind of in in the physical realm <clears throat> in logical clear ideas that are really kind of honoring your own sense of truth and perhaps even your own spiritual ascension but there is a little bit of neglect here with the heart space because you kind of don't, don't want to go there. But at the same time, I do feel like it's going to it's going to come out in different ways. So even if you want to try and stamp it out, it feels like it's going to trip you up in, in just a heightened sensitivity. OK, with the moon card, because you don't actually know how things are going to pan out with this particular goal or endeavor that you're after. Now, the strength card, really, I'm seeing here, it, it seems very basic to me that the strength is going to talk is talking about um, timing for you, because both these two cards, the two and the three of wands, they're both kind of standing at the edge of both looking at the horizon and kind of waiting on the two of wands. He's got the world in his hand and, and he he's looking He's looking for a better opportunity. He's looking for a better lifestyle, a new journey to embark on. And he's kind of ready to go, but there does seem a bit of a delay because he doesn't want to do things in half measures. He wants to go the distance. And the three of wands, he is sort of kind of waiting. He's at that, even though he's got that third um, wand in the ground, which creates more of a creative space for you, um, It's it does feel like um, th there's a sense of waiting. So strength is going to come in two ways for you number one it's going to use up all your strength to be even exercise even more patience but number two this is actually absolutely required because what that does is it turns the kind of the wait period 
or the delay of achieving your goals um, and it feels like one particular goal, one particular avenue that you're going in. It feels like the reason why there's a delay and the strength is needed is because it's asking you, Spirit is asking you to think outside the box, okay? Because of that three of ones that are there, again, three is a creative number. It's a catalytic number. So there's something about your situation where you need to kind of see it from a different angle. Now, we don't have the hangman, although it might, he might turn up. But it, it seems to me like you've got to kind of um, find new creative ways of getting getting around a problem, um, resolving a problem. And I feel like it's, it's um, while you might be ready to go and there's a bit of a delay, there's something that you just need, it needs that little bit of extra time so that you can be a little bit more creative with it. So um, this could also be talking about kind of having a few backup plans in place. But really, I mean, Taurus, you do that anyway. Really what it's talking about is you've got to think outside the box here and that's why strength is needed okay and sometimes when we think outside the stro um the box it actually catapults us it gives us a stronger direction further it gives us a, an, a a faster momentum further when we start to do things in a very unconventional way okay particularly underneath that hierophant card which is kind of a conventional card in itself but strength is asking you to go find different measures of doing it <laughs> blackbird is still out in the garden Oh, it's a female, it says brown. Mm. So then we have the justice card over here, okay? And justice is talking about how there's going to be um, healing coming in and the balance of scales to do with um, the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups could be someone else in your environment. Now, the King of Cups it doesn't have to be gender specific, okay? King of Cups is about um, having that emotional security, that emotional intelligence, uh, working with the heart space. I do feel like there's, it does feel to me like there's an, it's somebody else, and yes, it affects you too, because as soon as we connect with somebody else who has these strong energies, it bleeds off into us, and we start to, if we, we feel that energy too, we work with that energy too. It does feel to me like someone is offering, um, off offering you some support to help work on this endeavor that you've got. And that is the thing that's coming into balance because not only are you now you're getting the support um, that you need with that three of pentacles, okay, because they work together on something that perhaps just needed a little bit of fine tuning, okay, it wasn't quite complete. And uh, you, you just need to maybe bring in your soul tribe or a few other people into the mix uh, just to go back on something and, and, and tweak it, basically. And so I do feel like you're getting a heads up, you're getting um, a, a tip, um, a, a helping hand from the King of Cups energy. So this could be a person in your life who is really quite kind of um, grounded and solid, um, but really feels and knows and sees how hard you've been working towards this and sees how you have been coping with um, obstacles, seeing how you're coping with things outside your control, the fact that you're kind of meandering around it rather than kind of just firing straight ahead. Okay, and I'm drawn to that two of swords card again. So again, we'll see how that pans out. But I do feel that when the, the scales come into balance, I do feel like this is some sort of offering coming in. And with that is going to bring a sense of healing and faith that yes, you are on the right path. This is the right thing to do. You're now getting the support that you need. Okay, so something that you don't see at the moment looks extremely positive. Okay, three of pentacles, three of cups, and nine of cups. So let's look at the three of pentacles. Now the empress, as we know, is the divine feminine. Okay, she really works with an unconditional love and the heart space. She never runs out. She never runs out. She is the epitome of abundance and creation, okay? Now, we all have the divine feminine in us. Male or female, we all contain it within us. But sometimes the energy is so strong that it really kind of erupts in many different ways in a really, really positive sense. It talks about nurturing, fertility, creation, coming together, celebrating that heart space. So while in the beginning, you might have just been so focused on work and you're kind of ignoring your heart space, now you're overflowing with love, okay? Now, and obviously love in the sense of, love talks about, I mean, love is, a, is such a tiny word for such a big thing that we human beings can't even fully fathom. But an aspect of love 
is all about creation. It's all about creating more from even nothing. Okay, it is uh, it is all about growth and expansion. Okay, there's more that everything's interconnected. All of that jazz so is really really positive. Right, three of Pentacles. Can we clarify? Thank you. We got the Death card, which talks about major transformation coming in there. What else? The Three of Pentacles, please. Thank you. And we've got the Seven of Swords. Oh. Okay, so something that you've been working on has a sudden change. Now, it could be, I just want to go again. Thank you. Ooh, we've got two more. We've got the we got the Four of Cups and we've got the Hermit card here. Okay, so it seems to me that when I was talking about kind of going up, going around the bushes to get what you want, right, on the meandering river, it feels to me that while this, this support and the balance of the scales is there, it rejuvenates you, it helps you, it sets the, the record straight, and that's a really, really positive thing. But again, the thing that's unseen is it feels to me like whatever you're working on, something that perhaps has felt broken that can be physically or metaphorically because in the three of pentacles with this one the people are working together to um to fix the um, wind turbine just in time for the coming storm because they know they're going to reap the rewards okay so they're working together to do that um now that's a kind of a coming together and working on something, but there does seem to be a bit of a change. So whatever it is that you have been working on and getting people involved, there's a change up. It feels to me like there's, it's transformed. Um, and it, it's transformed in the sense that perhaps, it feels to me again, it's the same message coming through with um, this two, this three of wands energy here about the way that you've been doing something and this goal that you have, there's a de there's a better way to go about it. There's a more strategic way to go about it with that Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords is not always a cheaty card. Sometimes it talks about strategy, okay? Using the headspace to really kind of, um, it's not like cutting corners. It's just thinking outside the box again, okay? Working, working smarter, not harder. So it feels to me like, there is a change into what you're working on as it relates to this goal. But because under the Empress, I feel that it's been very, very positive. If you can allow yourself to be open to the idea, because what that, um, it, feel, <laughs> if, it feels like that intellectual strategy to think outside the box is actually an offering from spirit with that fourth of cup that's being offered to him because it's like you're looking at your three of cups you're kind of going okay well i'm working with my three of cups i'm working with my three of pentacles and this is the trial and conventional way of doing it okay but then spirit says well why don't you do it this way there's a different way to go about it and actually if you if, if you take that way of doing it you're going to get the four which in numerology is about foundations, setting roots, okay? So it's going to be better for you. And it almost feels like it's catapulting you forward. Again, it's a catalyst number. It's catapulting you forward. Um, but I do feel it's going to give you, 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 you're really trying to kind of suss it out in your headspace with a hermit, okay? You kind of, because those two cards are very kind of introspection, the hermit and the four of cups, it's like it feels a little bit against your grain to be doing something back to front almost okay but it feels like spirit is saying this is the way to do it go against the grain go against the conventional me measures because you start off really with that hyphen card and you are being rewarded for it but again they keep talking about think outside the box think outside the box because you're going to be getting barriers so when when we have an idea and we're working towards a particular project or career <clears throat> The minute we follow the rules and the regulations in terms of what's been done, trialed and tested throughout millennia, um, everyone around us, whether that be the people around us, the marketplace, uh, society in general, they have seen those, they have seen those recipes, if you will, um, time and time again. So it's very easy to pull up barricades and blocks in your way because they know what that journey looks like 
by you stepping away from that and around that and thinking outside the box and doing it a completely different way, you have less blocks up because people don't, it's unpredictable. People don't know which way it's going to go. Okay. So, um, if, it's it, that as long as you can get your head around that with the empress and really kind of go well as long as my intention is for the highest good as long as i'm working with creativity and 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 being creative in this problem solving then it will work in my favor but i feel like you you need some time to kind of be cool with that okay because taurus you fixed sign do we do like to know where we stand and it's very difficult to plan when um there is uncertainty ahead but this is literally just saying to you try and be well, i feel like saying try and be a little bit more like sagittarius try and be a little bit more kind of uh flexible and kind of open to many ideas open the floodgates of ideas rather than go through the directed way of trial and tested way wow what a rant okay let me move on Three of Cups. Can we clarify the Three of Cups? Thank you. Wow, we've got a few here. We've got um, the Page of Wands and the Two of Wands over here. And then we have the Four of Swords and the Magician. Excellent. Okay, so it does feel to me like with the situation, perhaps there is a move involved. Perhaps there is, um, you feel like you're having to balance um it's a bit of a balancing act as well but i do feel like coming together with people bringing in people together speaking to people many people about it coming together and having a reunion having a a good time it feels that this is so work heavy here and then um it feels like um you're gonna have some sort of reunion get together gathering seeing people that you haven't seen in a while and that's the thing that's going to lift your spirits, okay? Number one, it's going to open up uh, the page of wands to you, that opportunity. So in some sort, I would say like if you've been invited somewhere and you wouldn't normally really go, go anywhere because I do feel like some you're going to get some good news um, or an opportunity or an offer coming in, right? That's going to serve you in your purpose with this um, this project, this um uh, endeavor this venture that you're going on and it's going to help you balance it okay it's also going to help you um balance your kind of work play balance life you know work life balance um that's the other thing that it's going to do is it's going to enable you to really kind of heal from the difficulties of the stress involved with this okay particularly stress with um feeling like you've got your project that you want to do is it's like it feels like this big heavy burden on your shoulders and you're carrying it all okay but congregating with other people and being inspired by other people it's going to lift your spirits and you're going to feel more in the magician area you're going to feel more um positive and more rejuvenated to create more knowing that actually you've got all the tools that you need to do this okay all you need to do is believe in it imagine it and if you bring your focus in then and apply all your elements accordingly you can see it in the physical world now what is your wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups thank you oh we've got the tower and the knight of pentacles ah let's do it this way that's how it came out the tower and the knight of pentacles okay so this feels to me like you're getting what you want now it it's again it's under the empress now the tower we a lot of people get together the tower the tower is what it is okay it's false foundations that have now crumbled okay so it comes across to us either as in a shock or a surprise ultimately it's for the highest good there's no point living life without seeing the truth of the situation. There's no point kind of closing yourself up and keeping yourself in your bubble, in your little comfort zone and living a lie. You've got to be true to you. So it feels like there's something that's coming towards you, which you had something that you're wishing for, but it comes as a surprise. So because it's all under the Empress card here, I feel like having, having healed here with the Star card and the Four of Swords, having come together with other people with the Three of Pentacles, uh, teamwork makes a dream work and the three of cups congregating with inspiring like-minded people <clears throat> it's bringing in a shock a surprise 
of something that you're actually hoping for with that nine of cups, which is your wish fulfillment. And your wish fulfillment is the means, the facilities and the resources to continue your journey but now you have the resources. So I feel like the resources are coming in. You don't see it now because it's all under the Empress card, but it is abundant energy, okay? And it's gonna give you the, it's, it's basically a leg up. It's gonna give you the support that you need to continue on your journey in a, in a way that's gonna have longevity attached to it because it's pentacles. Okay, now as we, the outcome of the month, is the eight, which is a strength card, okay? Eight in numerology is about kind of manifestation, okay? Seeing the, the rewards of your effort. Now, strength is that final push, you kind of, it's like the dark, it's like um, the darkest before dawn, you know, the dark night of the soul. It's kind of using all of your reserves, all of your strength, because ultimately you're kind of a bit, you, you're in a bit of a, a situation now where you kind of feel like there's a decision that needs to be made. OK, and maybe it's a decision between what your fire is, what your passion is and what your heart is telling you. So maybe that's what it is. But we will clarify. OK, so sometimes it feels like with the two of swords, there's only one way or two ways to go. Sometimes we can look at it as let's combine the two ways or let's disregard it completely. But there, if there is a decision that's needing to be made, you've got to remember that by not making a decision, that's also a decision. So you don't want to be caught stagnant in that energy. Okay. <clears throat> Let's clarify the Two of Swords, please. Why is the Two of Swords here, please? Thank you. Ah, oh, Ten of Wands. You're reaching that final burden. Okay. Ending something. Thank you. We've got the Devil card. So this could also be a Capricorn as well. But the Devil card is about toxicity, extreme. Anything that goes into an extreme level becomes toxic. So um, as I say, everything in moderation. But as soon as you go overboard, it's like a couple of glasses of, ni of wine at night is wonderful. A couple of bottles um, of wine at night is extreme. Okay, it becomes toxic to the body. Uh, this also could feel like you're a bit kind of bound and torn and, 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 and kind of suppressed in some way. Um, all right, let's go further. What else for the Two of Swords, please? Thank you. We've got the Five of Swords, which is winning at all costs. Okay. And what else do we have, please? Knight of Cups. Now we've got the Knight of Cups twice. All right. It feels to me that you're naturally at the end of some sort of journey here with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is carrying a heavy load, but he can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, but you, you cross between what do I do? Do I? Um, it feels like you're wanting to move forward and walk this maze of life and find your own happiness, find your own direction but you're still carrying a bit of a heavy burden. And so it still feels like even though you're at the end of a cycle to a degree, it's like something is, it, it's the, the image I'm getting is like um, bare feet on ground and there's this creepers on the feet trying to keep, keep your feet firmly on the ground or held back where all you want to do is walk forward into the next chapter. Okay. So, you feel a bit torn between, well, you know that something has naturally come to an end, okay? But you still feel a little bit suppressed, a little bit bound from that situation. And on the other side, you've got this um, Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords, feeling like, well, if I go forward, maybe it's wrong of me to... Um, cut all my ties and move forward and follow my heart and move with a heart space because you've still got this kind of toxic energy here so it feels like you're a bit this death is going to take all the strength that you have because um ultimately you've got to remember at the beginning of the month you were very true to yourself very logical but by the end of the month the outcome is again going remembering the beginning of the month going okay well this is what i am this is who I choose to be. 
this is the direction I'm going in. I don't know which way it's going to take me, but I need to follow my own authentic truth and I need to follow my heart. It feels to me like that by doing that, you're saying goodbye to maybe some toxic energy that you've actually closed now. It's actually at the end of the end of the road anyway. So it is closed, but you're still feeling um, uh, tied to that to some degree. And you feel as if, that if you move forward you're cutting the tie of something that you've been working on for quite a while um, and it feels like it's wrong to just do that but actually you need to follow your heart okay so it feels like it's the wrong measure but you've got to be true to you okay you've got to go to that heart space because the strength card is also about the lion's heart as well okay you've got to be true to your heart so it's going to be a bit tricky and you're going to feel a little bit kind of stuck do i move forward or do i still kind of honor this past situation i don't know maybe you should just move forward you've got all of these things supporting you three of wands please can we clarify the three of wands thank you we have uh ten of swords and the seven of pentacles okay so now as, as, so not only do you feel a little bit sort of stuck, but you come into the situation of, even though it's taking a bit of time, on one side, you're like, well, I've got to recognize that something is dead, done, and over with. In the med mental body, remember it's a 10, so 10s are about endings and new beginnings all at once. In the mental body, you reach the end of the tether, so you understand that the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords are now full completion. There's no more going back. Okay, and even though it feels to me, even though you've been working really, really hard on that with that seven of pentacles, he's really kind of looking at what he has harvested and kind of going, you know what, I put so much energy and attention into that, but I realize now perhaps, perhaps I want to grow something different. Perhaps I don't want to grow oranges. Okay, um, he's sort of assessing what he has harvested up until now. He's assessing, and what he realizes is actually, you know what, that was a. It's it's not really the way I wanted to go. So I've got to recognize that that direction put me in a better place now, but that direction isn't going to give me what I need to have moving forward. So instead, I'm going to go back to my three of wands. I'm going to go back to my fire which is my passion, my motivation, my drive, my energy forward, and my creativity, because it's a three of ones, and I'm going to start working at it again. It's like going back to the drawing board, okay? Something that you put a lot into, and I don't. it doesn't feel like this energy here, because I do feel like this is very specific, and it's about kind of looking outside the box, uh, thinking outside the box, but as you do so, as the end of the month, you've got to kind of tie up loose ends because things are kind of closing off for you, okay, with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. The cycles have been going on for obviously longer than a month. And it's like recognizing, okay, that's been done. So let me go back to the drawing board with regards to this because I feel like I need to do it a different way. Let's go to the Knight of Cups, please. Can we clarify the Knight of Cups? Uh, we've got the Knight of Wands and we've got the Two of Swords again. So this tells me that it's going to take even more strength because I do feel that there is um, love being offered towards you. Now, even if you are in a partnership at the moment, this could be somebody else or this could be a renewal of it. But someone's coming to you and offering the heart of love, very passionate, very exciting, very romantic, all of that. And now you feel a bit stuck again, like, oh God, I don't know what to do. What do I do? Do I follow my heart or do I follow the plans that I plan? I'd, I'd set for myself again but she'd be her her eyes are blindfolded there she just took off the blindfold she would realize that there's an island waiting behind her okay she's stuck in a situation so I do feel like you're going to get a trip up by the out by the end of the month even though you recognize that something's ended so it could even be a past lover that comes in again um but it's going to require all your strength so the key here is for you to, as, as much as you can, honor yourself and be true to yourself, okay? Do you follow your heart? Um, and what is your heart really t telling you to do, okay? Is your heart really kind of pulling you back into an old cycle? Is your heart invested in something new? Um, what is your heart really telling you to do? Because in the beginning, you're kind of ignoring your heart a bit, and by the end, you having to recognize it and it's going to take quite a lot of strength inner strength 
Okay, let us get um, an oracle card to end off the reading. What does Taurus need to know for the highest good for October 2022? Thank you. We've got two cards here. We've got Pillar of Light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. And for some reason, I'm again being drawn back to that Hierophant card there. Okay, so you are rising up spiritually, you are rising up. So even if October feels quite challenging, I don't feel it's like massively challenging because you start the month off kind of knowing where the challenges lie. You know what's happening. What's unseen is actually a lot of good stuff coming your way. But by the end of the and that lifts you up. But by the end of the month, you've still got to deal with those challenges that you felt in the beginning of the month. So a pillar of light, you're your vibration is rising, you are the oracle, meaning that you are sharing, um, you're guiding the light for others, okay? And then we have star seed, what lights you up? So we've got two cards that are talking about light. Light is illumination, light is information, light is having a lightness to your body, to your step, light is also conveyed through air, okay? Um, so wherever you can, uh, now, obviously, you may resonate with being a star seed, which would be a first incarnation in Earth, um, on the Earth plane, meaning that you actually have a light to working mission to um, in this world. Um, but really, you need to think about with, um, if you're struggling with a heart space, think about the things that are making you light and joyful. OK, um, not so heavy with this two of swords, the devil card here and the strength card seems very kind of heavy swords i'm sorry of heavy energies anything that's going to lighten you up is going to support you a bit better so light by illumination secrets being revealed to you which may very well come up but illumination in the sense of information so where whatever situation you have if there is a resource to gather more information more research from that that's going to really really aid you but ultimately what it's talking about is what is going to lighten your load what is going to lighten your step so that you have more of a spring in your step? Because that is a way to go. Taurus, that's all I have for you. I know it sounds pretty cryptic, but ultimately you, um, you're going to be revisiting um, the some challenges at the end of the month. You're going to have like a kind of a recap of the challenges you start off the month where you feel pretty strong. Um, but also with me seeing the blackbird, and obviously I'm a Taurus and blackbirds are very significant for me personally. They are always really, really good omens. So that is shared to you as well for this reading. So I wish you all the best and I'll see you next month. Take care. Bye.